Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixel Perfect here to share with you a major news flash along with some hot reality check. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> Actually, Adobe released a brand new feature and they're calling it Super Resolution. They released it with Camera Raw. Now, what that does is that it basically doubles the resolution of an image. Let's see how that works and then we'll do some deep digging. Now, if you're working with RAW photos in Photoshop, it would work right off the bat, just like COVID. However, if you're working with JPEG files, you might want to change some preferences so that when you drag and drop JPEG files in Photoshop, it should open in Camera Raw. And the way you do that is this. Go to Edit and then Preferences. If you're on Mac, that would be under Photoshop and then Preferences. Inside of that, simply go to File Handling or you can directly click on Camera Raw right there as well. Now, inside of Camera Raw, we have File Handling as well. Just choose Automatically Open All Supported JPEGs right here. You can also choose Automatically Open All Supported Diffs. Now, whenever you drag and drop a JPEG, it would open that up in Camera Raw. Let's drag it and drop it into Photoshop. Now, once you do that, since we made those changes in preferences, it will open that up in Camera Raw. Now, all you have to do is to right click on the image and click on Enhance. Now, it will give you an option for super resolution. Just click on Enhance and it will do it. Now, if you want to see the preview, you can, of course, first of all, have a look at the preview. Just zoom in on one of the eyes. So this is the before. And this is the after. Can you notice the change? It's actually very minute. Click on Enhance and it will create a copy of that image in the same folder as a DNG. So it creates a raw image right here. There it is. As you can see, it's a DNG file. You saw how minute those changes were. So that brings us to three questions for this video that might interest you. Question number one, although this technique might be good for high resolution images where you want to just expand the resolution even more, how does it actually perform on low resolution images? The reason we ask this question is because we cannot apply super resolution twice. So right now we have another copy with a higher resolution right here. However, if we try to right click on it and choose enhance again, it'll show you an error that says the selected photo is already fully enhanced. So how does it work with low resolution images? Question number two, how can we actually apply it multiple times? And if we do, what happens then? What is the result like? And finally, question number three, and this is the most important one. Adobe is a huge company. Actually, it's massive. One of the biggest when it comes to creative software. How does this technology, the super resolution feature, compare to other image enlarging software in the market? Let's answer all of those. To continue the test forward, what we have done is that we have created a low resolution version of the same image. This is just 500 pixels in width. And in this, we're going to try to apply super resolution. How do we do that? Multiple times? Well, let's just first of all, drag it and drop it into Photoshop. This will open that up in Camera Raw. Now, once it opens, we can definitely right click on it and then choose Enhance. Now, this is a lower resolution, so it pretty much does it quickly. Now we have to open it. As you can see, this is 1000 pixels in width. So double of that. Now let's export it by going to file. And then you can just directly choose save as and save it as a JPEG. So let's save this as one X save right there. Maximum quality. Now we're going to just repeat this process again and again. So let's drag and drop the one X and drop it right over there. Now this time, we're going to do the same thing and save it as 2x and then open the 2x and process it and save it as 3x. So I have already made all the 5x versions. Let me share with you the final one. So these are the versions of super resolution that I've already painstakingly made. <laughs> Let's open up the five times super resolution where I applied it five times. Let's drag it and drop it into Photoshop and just simply open it. And let's compare it with the low resolution image. So this, my friend, is five times super resolution. As you can see, it's not very impressive. There are some banding lines. Let's compare it to the low resolution version. So there you go, my friend. On the left hand side, we have the lower resolution. And on the right hand side, we have five times super resolution applied to this lower resolution version. And I have to say, Photoshop has done a pretty good job determining where the edges are and the other things. Eyes are not excellent, but pretty good. Now it is time for us to answer the third and the most important question. How does this compare to other software out there? Now, I'm not going to do a crazy level of comparison. Let's just go to Google and search for AI image enlarger. Let's see what we get. Click on the very first one and let's try this website. It doesn't have to be this website. It can also be big JPEG or some other software here and there. Let's go with the first result. Let's drag and drop our low resolution image here. 
now it needs an account so let me quickly create a free account and get back to you so now that i've signed in my friend let's drag and drop the low resolution image right there now as you can see 8x is only for paying members this is a simple free account let's go with the 4x and let's start processing now it takes a little while let's see how the results are oh it's ready let's download it so this is the file let's open that up in photoshop right here click on open again now we need to disable this camera raw for jpeg because it's disturbing now let's go to window arrange we have three photos right three up vertical right so this is super resolution right there this is the low resolution image and this is with a random online ai image enlarger there are some artifacts here and there but i gotta say it has done a much better job than photoshop have a look at the eyebrows it actually has some details super resolution seems to have botched it all up have a look at the hair right here it has some details look at the super zoom one well definitely i have to give it to this software well this is the low resolution one it barely has any details at least it came up with some details right here this is just looks like a blurred version of this yet it's a little better not bad but adobe you can do better than this now let's take a look at the overall face and we can clearly say with zero doubt and that random ai image enlargers online are better much better than super resolution all i have to say is this adobe you're a massive company right you're huge when it comes to creative software actually you're the biggest when it comes to that and it's safe to say right that you have considerable amounts of funds well then maybe we can just buy these technologies out these are just independent websites with ai technologies we can just buy these out and add that as a feature right I, and i still don't know why you're not hiring me as your official advisor or maybe i already am and you don't want to pay me either way i'm just kidding thank you so much for watching this video at this point i feel that this feature is a good feature a step in the right direction but i feel that there is a room for improvement maybe we need more sliders to just increase the resolution 1x 2x 3x 4x or something of that nature maybe we need that inside of photoshop and a little bit improvement on the ai front with adobe sensei will not hurt i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice and amazing people for supporting pix imperfect on patreon and helping keep pix imperfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you Keep creating.